Hi, I'm Gareth Spence and welcome to Tech Talk. AdTrans Fiber Monitoring Solution is driving a lot of conversations right now. From the monitoring of PON and Metro networks to mobile and even long haul infrastructures. It's proving to be an ultra capable device with widespread appeal. To share more details on ALM and provide a demo of it in action, I'm joined by AdTrans Abdallah Karadeen. Abdallah, talking to customers at the show here, it seems that ALM is in huge demand. Why is it so popular? Yeah, so ALM is a monitoring tool for, for the most valuable, valuable infrastructure in any network, and that is fiber. You know, traditionally up until today, most people don't actually monitor their physical fiber directly. They rely on higher layer protocols and equipment. So maybe on a transponder or an amplifier or a rodent, if they notice some anomalies with the power levels, then they start investigating. You know, is it, is it the rodent or is there actually something on the fiber? And if they finally suspect it's the fiber, they send somebody with an OTDR, they unplug the fiber from both ends. So there's an outage, there's a scheduled outage. They shoot the fiber and hopefully it's the fiber and they didn't make a mistake and it was actually initially on the, on the equipment and they wasted all this time and effort and the outage and all of that. To eliminate all of this problem, you use a device like the ALM, which is really a 24 by 7 OTDR that you instrument into your network. So you couple it with your data, it runs live with the data in the background 24 by 7 monitoring your fiber. So now if there's an anomaly on the fiber, there's no guesswork whatsoever, right? If the end equipment notices an anomaly or they get a call, there's an outage, immediately you log into this one. And if it's on the fiber, it will not only detect it, it will identify it, meaning it's on the fiber, and it will locate it for you. And so you take all of that information, you give it to your field, they go out the first time they're going out to fix the problem and not to find it or troubleshoot it. So that's, you know, this is the, the, the most basic use case. But there's also the other use cases. A lot of the time, the same sort of scenario, if there is a silent impairment on the fiber, meaning, you know, there's some sort of, of, of steady but slow degradation on the fiber, it's almost never detected until it turns into an outage. Because the, the instruments, the, the, the amplifiers and the rodents and the transponders are actually not looking for degradation on the fiber. With this, you can set thresholds. And so that if there is a degradation on the fiber, you catch it before it turns into an outage. And so again, you save all the trouble of, of, of troubleshooting and the outages and the uncertainties and so on. So that's what makes it so popular. Uh, and, 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 you know, if it's, it's being, you know, in this show, we've been really busy showing it to customers, giving live demos, as you can see, and so on. What makes it so different to any other competing solutions? Very good. So, I'll use a quote from one of our global, actually, global um, providers. So we asked him, so what, what do you think about it? He said, what I love about it is that it just works. You know what I mean? He said, I pulled it out of the box. I didn't have to provision anything else. I didn't need a management server. I didn't need, you know, difficult integration with my back, my back office, my back end. It's got the management interface on it, uh, both a GUI as well as uh, SNMP and NetConf. So it was very easy, just turn it on, give it an IP address, and we were able to do everything that we want to do with it. And then we integrated it into backend, into our backend, and it was just that smooth. Instrumenting it also into the network is extremely simple. You just basically take a coupler device, you take your data source into one port, you take this one into another port, and then you got your network port that has both the OTDR and the data. Operationally speaking, that GUI, one-step provisioning. You take a fingerprint that, that serves your reference measurement of your network, and now every event on the network is compared to that reference measurement in the background without any user intervention. If there is an issue, you're alerted so you can take action. You mentioned earlier that ALM can be used in many different applications. You have a demo behind us here. What application is being used here, and can you drill down into some specifics? Yes, yeah, so on this, in this demo over here, we are showing a dark fiber use case, and then we are also showing a pawn use case over there. Uh, you know, we can't obviously show everything with this demo, right? Other use cases will include transport, be it WDM or native IP transport. Uh, front and backhaul in the mobile space is a huge use case. That one is a use case where obviously, as you know, the asset owners are not always the same, right? The tower owners and the fiber infrastructure owners are not the same. And often when there's an outage, 
there's finger pointing and a lot of time wasted until the, you know, the, it's narrowed down that it's on the fiber. This will eliminate that and give you a clear demarcation, device, or clear demarcation point uh, between the different responsible parties. And how successful has ALM been with customers? How many units have you shipped? Very successful. So the product has been shipping since 2016. Uh, earlier, or actually late in, in 2023, we celebrated shipping our 5,000th unit. And so today we are well beyond that number. Hopefully we'll hit 6,000 sometimes real, real soon. So been very, very popular with, with all kinds of providers, tier ones, tier twos, threes, uh, governments, telcos, enterprises. Everyone who has fiber is finding a utility for this box. Can you show me this in action? Yeah, absolutely. So in this case, I have a five kilometer fiber spool over here, followed by a 500 meter fiber spool. You can see that in the OTDR trace that I have a reflective event at 5,000 meters, followed by um, the end of the fiber effectively. Now, under normal operation, this would just sit in the background, humming along. If there's an issue, you will hear about it. If not, it, you know, you, it's not even there. You will never, you will never hear from this box. So let's, let's simulate a fiber cut and see how the system would react. So I'm just gonna pull the fiber out at 500 meters. So we do this. And then you may, I'm not sure if you've noticed it, but there's an alarm that just popped up over here that says link loss high. And now what the system does, normally the system would be cycling through the 16 ports that are being monitored, the 16 fibers. If it detects a fault on any of the ports, we stop the cycling or the monitoring cycle and we go back and focus on the port with an alarm, take a full OTDR, take the new OTDR, overlay it over the reference measurement so we can see exactly what had happened and where it had happened. And that is what we call a fault analysis. My fault analysis is still running right now. Typically takes about 60 to 90 seconds or so. And there we go. So here's my fault analysis over here. You can see that there is a fault at exactly 5,000 meters. That is where I pulled the fiber. I can still see, I cannot see the end of the fiber anymore. So. Definitely, this is a fiber cut, and the system has detected it. Moreover, if you have the system provisioned with the included and embedded GIS functionality, you can actually go and click on Show on Map, and you see where the fault location is on the map. And so that's how it works, right? Very, very simple, as you can see. Simple to set up, simple to operate. And this information here, the fault location or the fault notification, is packaged in an email with the uh, OTDR trace attached and with the link to a Google map or whoever you're using as the mapping location, geo coordinates to where the fault is. Abdallah, thanks for the, for the insight there with the demo. Final question, what is next for ALM? Oh, okay, so there's lots actually that's coming on the horizon. So the next uh, box in the ALM family is going to be a hardened box. And we believe we're going to be the first ones to introduce this box um, towards the end of this year, towards the end of 2024. You will be able to do everything that you, that you can with the ALM today, but in a hardened form factor that you can sit in an outside, that you can put in an outside cabinet that's not environmentally controlled. And so that should be a great addition to the portfolio. Also, added to the whole infrastructure monitoring solution, we're getting into the sensing solutions. So coherent sensing is going to be a very big topic for us in 2025. And stay tuned because we have some great, uh, great innovative products coming that, that, will, that will hopefully create some stir in the market. Abdallah, thanks for joining me today. Anytime, thank you so much.